baby! Welcome back to the channel, I guess. You dudes are gonna love this video. I'm gonna be rating Loon every- is gonna be rating every male character in Has Been Hotel. This video has been requested You dudes have been requesting this video for over two months. And it's about time and we make it. it's about time we make Can it- you just shut the f*** up for two seconds? Ooh, whatever, dude. You just don't know how to hype people up. Anyway, before we begin, make sure to- Make sure you dudes smash that subscribe button. Drop a big fat- I swear to God, I'm going to f What do you say we get started with the first person? If you can allow me to talk, I would love to begin. Sounds good to me. First one on the list is Lucifer. That traitor. Disgusting. I can't even look at his face without throwing- You need to chill out. We're judging them based on personality and looks. Don't make it personal. Even if we forget everything that he has done, just, just look at him. I mean, yeah, that outfit is not doing him any favors. Isn't he like five feet tall? I thought so too, but he's six feet apparently. If you include the hat, maybe. I can't wait for him to watch this video. What's with those gay eyelashes? He looks like he just ran out of a circus. This guy is stuck in time. What the f is that? Yeah, that's a four out of 10 at best. Agreed. I would like to move on to someone else. It's funny you mention that, because this guy is next on five the- Five out of 10. Next one, please. Hold the f on. What do you mean, five out of 10? Did you forget who I am? Did you forget what rating you gave me last time? Do you not see the difference between you and me? What are you trying to say? Your loot. I'm Adam. I agree, sir. I'm alive. You're dead. I'm a warrior. You're fat. Hold the f up, yo. I know you didn't just call me fat. Care to explain? Listen, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. That's just fabric. FYI, fat and fabric are two different things. You know what? I'm just gonna move on to the next person. Good idea, sir. I'm starting to get sick from looking at that picture. Can we just move on, please? Is that the demon? Angel dust. Yeah. That annoying mother that calls you my pet. He's tall. I will give him that. And he has six hands, which is also a bonus. The sheer fact that you look at his six hands as a bonus is disturbing to say the least. But go on. Don't get me wrong, sir. He has the looks. But everything else is just f***ing foul. Yeah, you don't say. His career. His mindset, his orientation, his sins. There is nothing about him that's attractive. So what's the final rating? Cause I'm dying to hear what this little- Six out of 10. You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. Credit where credit is due, sir. His in good shape. In good shape? His ass is the size of Texas and deeper than the ocean. The fuck do you mean by good shape? Sir, with all due respect, this video is not about you. Yeah, but- how is he? That's higher than- Sir, can we please move on to the next person? Fine. Let's just get this over with. I'm starting to get bored already. Sir, I said next person, not a cat. You really don't like anyone, do you? Have you ever seen anything more miserable than that? I mean, just look at him. Gambling addiction, alcohol addiction, and to make it worse, he's in a relationship with angel dust. You're just gonna be roasting everyone at this point, aren't you? Sir, I'm simply rating them based on looks and personality. And let's just say that so far, none of them seem appealing to me. I'm so saving that image, by the way. He just got done fighting for his life, and all he can think about is alcohol? I'm definitely giving him a five out of 10. Just to add my two cents, I'm more of a dog person. Agreed. Let's move on to the next person. I actually think you're gonna like this one. Is that Penches? Yeah, uh, the engineer. He's actually not that bad, you know. I'm familiar with his backstory. Didn't he get into heaven at the end of season one? After I wiped him clean? Yeah. Actually, if you think about it, he never really did anything wrong. Looking at that face, I beg to differ, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, yeah, he has some serious anger and trust issues, but he has a good heart. He's a snake. And you're a pigeon. What's your point? They are physically incapable of developing feelings for anyone or anything. They survive based on pure instincts. This guy? He's a sweetheart. Just look at him. He wouldn't harm a fly. First of all, that hat is freaking me the f*** out. Second of all, we all know how I feel about snakes. Third of all, he still killed thousands, even if it was in hell. Look who's talking. But I will admit, he did a lot of good. He sacrificed himself in the battle. And that truly was a heroic act, especially coming from a sinner like himself. Heroic act? 
he just tried to blast me with a giant death ray. And what battle are you talking about? There was no battle between us. I just swiped left. That was all that happened. Regardless, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. And welcome to heaven, Sir Penches. You've most definitely earned your place here. I'm just going to move on to the next person. Is that, is that Peter? Why do you sound surprised? The video says all male characters. So we're going to be rating every single one, even St. Peter. Well, then he's an 8. Seriously? The little Twinkie Toes gets an eight, and I get a five? Okay, just, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I mean, in comparison to literal demons, I have to give him at least an eight. Yeah, but still, it's Peter, and no offense, but he kind of gives off gay vibes. Okay, I, I'm not saying you're wrong. All I'm saying is that it wouldn't be all that right to rate a sinner above an angel. Yeah, you got a good point, actually. So I have to give him at least an 8. Something tells me that that's going to be the highest score we're going to have in this video. I guess we'll just have to wait to find out. Speaking of wait, I've been waiting for you to click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to share with your friends and leave a comment down below. Anyway, moving on to the next person. Who is that? Allow me to introduce you to Valentino. He's one of the V's. Wait a minute. Isn't he the guy that Vox always talks about? The so-called pimp demon. Yeah, that's him. The whole Alistair drama is just too much for me right now. And plus, he's not really the purest man on the list to begin with. But he does have four arms. And he's taller than Angel. So what? What do you mean, so what? Isn't that a bonus for you? It was a bonus for Angel. His soul still has chance for redemption. In fact, we see it happen in season one. So Angel is nice and Val isn't. You got any logical reasons? Or are you just picking favorites? Logical reasons? He's a f pimp. He killed hundreds of people. And on top of that, just look at his outfit. What's up with you in fashion today? Are you just going to be judging everyone based on how they dress? Sir, with all due respect, that outfit screams the words s and f So yes, I will judge based on that outfit alone. I don't think we're even allowed to say that. John, please censor all of that. Okay, okay. I will admit his outfit is not the best, especially this one. But you gotta look Hold at- Hold the f up. What is that slurping moth wearing? Huh? Adam, I need you to explain to me. What the f are my eyes seeing right now? Uh, you mean his clothes? I guess it's like some weird gay- Two out of ten. Now get this r out of my pure angelic face. The f is up with you today. Can we just get this sh over with? I'm starting to feel sick from looking at all of these sick and twisted demons. Okay, okay, moving on to the next one. Here, this is... What am I looking at? Sir, I, I don't, I don't know who that is. Could you please help me understand who that- Who the f*** is that? Wait a minute. You mean you don't know either? Are we doing side quests at this point or what? He looks like he watches you sleep for a living. Give me a minute. I'm texting John. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing Adam himself asking for help for the first time in history. Shut up. He's typing. It's truly fascinating to see a creature like him craving attention and help. Quite frankly, it really is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Oh, sh**. You were right. That guy is just a creep. He, I mean, he even worked with Valentino to record and produce adult videos. Uh, and apparently his name is Travis. You know what? I think he deserves the best score of them all. One out of ten. And for once, I actually kind of agree with you. Let's move on to someone you're more familiar with. The TV Demon, also known as the Weather Channel. Also known as Box. Also known as the Flat-Faced Also known as Box. Holy sh**. That mother has a lot of nicknames now that I think about it. So what are your thoughts on our flat-faced friend? Let's go down the list, shall we? He doesn't pay John. He lies to his audience. He works with Valentino. He literally kills the poor. The list goes on, sir. Yeah, that guy has a serious dark side that he's hiding. Just look at that smile. I mean, does that say honest to you? What's with the cursed images today? Don't ask me, dude. This is your video, not mine. This is usually the part where I start talking about the good parts of the person. But honestly, I don't think there is any good left in this man. What about his appearance? Don't you like how he looks? I'm not about to get f 
replaced by a goddamn TV. I have something called standards. Just give me a number already. What's his rating? I would have to say two out of ten. Seriously? He gave you a chance to have your own video. And this is how you repay him? He didn't give me shit. It was the fans that wanted this video. And I would like to move on to the next person. Those teeth are starting to piss me off. I wish you were this aggressive in bed. What? Anyway, surprisingly enough, the next person on the list is Vox's assistant. Does he have a name? Let me guess. You need to text John. Shut up, bitch. Unfucking believable. Listen, I don't know everyone's name, okay? Anyway, while Adam looks at his notes, Fuck you. I want to use this time to talk to you for a moment. Do you think I'm doing a good job? Is the video good? Or is it boring? It's boring. I would really want to know what you think of the video so far. Trust me, you don't want to know. So could you please comment good job if you think that I'm doing good? You might want to rephrase that. You know what? I'm sick and tired of your bullshit, Adam. Do you really think everything is about you? Can you let me have this one video? Or are you just gonna be salty because Vox said that the fans wanted to see me instead of you? He doesn't have a name. What are you talking about? I, I just said Vox. How does Vox not have a name? I'm talking about the assistant, dumbass. Wait, what? Yeah, he doesn't have an actual name. Sir, I, I don't... I don't think I understand. Okay, so people are calling him Papermint, but that's not his actual name. It's not canon. So he's just an assistant that shows up once in the entire season and never appears again. To make the long story short, yes. Well then, in that case, one out of 10. I'm just gonna move on to the next person. We're almost done anyway. Here's an interesting fact. I actually prefer Alistair over Vox. Wait, really? Why? I mean, don't get me wrong, sir. He's worse than Vox, responsible for thousands of souls being slaughtered, and without a doubt, the cruelest overlord in hell. Yet he's better than Vox and deserves a higher rating? What's up with that? I don't think I can quite put it in words. I just like his character, his charisma. I'm actually starting to get concerned. I'm just gonna give him a five out of 10 and move on to the next person. We're not moving on to shit. You need to explain to me how this got the same rating as me. Sir. Can we just move on, please? Look at that thing. Why would you give him a five? He looks like he just killed five Just move on to the next person. Fine. Let's just get this video over with. Spider-Man? I know this bitch did not just say Spider-Man. I was trying to make a joke. Yeah, well, it sucked. Not as hard as you. Excuse me? Anyway, I believe this is Zestiel. As I was informed, he is the oldest overlord in all of hell. Who told you that? Alistair did, sir. Of course he did. We actually talk quite often. He told me a lot about Rosie as well. Dude. You're starting to actually scare me. I actually don't see him as that bad of a person, especially in comparison to others. However, I will admit, I am not a big fan of spiders. It's funny you mention that, because he seems to be a fan. But even so, he hasn't shown much aggression in season one. In fact, I like to believe that he's a lot like Miss Carmine. What are you talking about? Think about it. He avoids wars and prefers not to get involved in anything. That's only because we don't get to see anything happen in the first season. Exactly. And for that reason alone, I think I'm going to give him a four out of ten. Surprisingly enough, I was expecting a higher rating. I really wanted to give him a six. But again, I'm not a big fan of spiders. Whatever, dude. Your video not mine. With that being said, I think that's the end Hold of on for just a second. We still have one more person to rate before we end the video. Seriously? Who else is left? The most important, charming, handsome, smart, and amazing person, of course. Excuse me? I'm, of course, talking about Tom Trench, hell's greatest news reporter, and one of the most- One out of ten. You gotta be f***ing kidding me. Sorry, sir. Not big on politics.